Hello there everybody, my name is Super Yerme and welcome to the episode number 24 of my intro career mode in FIFA 17. We have probably the biggest pride match, as I, I could say, I guess. In Italy we have Milan versus Inter. Milan are in third place with 33 points, which is pretty decent. We are top of the table with 40 points, so let's win this and extend our lead at the top, hopefully, if Napoli loses points. Okay, this is the squad. We have Gabriel up top, Brozovic in the number 10, Perisic and Biziak on the wings, Joao Mario and Kondogbia as defensive midfielders. Fosu Mensa this time playing as a right back. Zuma, Murillo and Hernandez make up the back line with Hadanovic in goal. On the bench we have Santon, Jesus, Haze, Taider, Dodo, Jovetic and Antonio Candreva. Let's go. 0-0 zero, zero, Chefta, we had more chances. Uh, we put in a lot of crosses, but everything was or blocked or taken down by Donnarumma. Oh, Gabriel, this could be good. João Mario! João Mario! That was so well orchestrated. That was just fucking fantastic. I almost just at, at the end of this goal. Look at this pass. Look at this first touch. Look at this finish. That is one of my favorite goals until now, guys. Here we go, guys. 1-0. We get the derby. Della Madonnina, I think it's called. Uh, a very good performance, I have to say. A lot of players turned up to the game. An amazing goal, in my opinion. And three points are ours. It's time for some squad training. We have Haza. He's now 78 rated. We have a transfer offer for Juan Jesus. Now, he's a player that I could let leave, but for the right amount of money, and that right amount of money, in my opinion, is 10 million. Genoa are back for Daniel Bessa, and I think I might just accept it. Another massive game. We have Napoli, this time away. Of course, they're in second place, and I think they dropped point the last game? Not sure. Anyways, um, if we win, we'll have a 9-point gap, which is quite a lot, you know, 3 games is not uh, a small amount of games, so let's go and play the game. This is my squad, guys. We have Gabriel up top, Brozovic in the number 10, Perisic and Biziak on the wings. Perisic sadly is now only 82 rated, I think he was 84 at the start. Kondogbia and João Mario at the cent uh, center midfield position. They have Fosu Mensa, Zuma, Murillo, Hernandez at the back with Handanovic and goal. On the bench, Tider, Jesus, Haze, Santon, Dodo, Jovetic, and Antonio Candreva. Let's go. Come on, Gabriel. He's through. Come on, pass it, João Mario. It's 1-0! That was a bit lucky. Jan Oblak didn't do the best job, I think, there in goal. We'll see what happened there. Let's take a look. Not sure how that squeezed it, uh, squeezed in. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, that was poor from Oblak, I think. But anyways, 1-0. Uh, 1-0 is half time. We are playing good football. Let's keep it up. Come on, Timothy. Ooh, this could be good. Please. Come on. Someone. Please. Yes! Gabriel scores. A mess in their box, uh, but we, uh, we somehow get on top of it and score with Gabriel. Oh no, that's a penalty. That was a bad tackle from myself, I have to say. It wasn't good. Uh, we, do we get it booked? Nope, I don't think so. But anyway, we have a penalty to save. Arkadius Milik. He's going to go bottom right. Nope. He's not. Ooh, lots of space. Gabriel. To shut off the game. And that's another penalty. And this time on the other side, Matija Nastasic takes down Gabriel. What an ending to the game. And this time is Gabriel. Come on. You gotta score this one, boy. And he does. And now it's over. Two penalties in like three seconds almost. I mean, a bit more, but... Um, now we're surely winning the game. Here we go, 3 1 at the end. Good job. Transfer offer for Haris Castellitz from Juventus, but rejected. We have Atalanta in the Coppa Nazionale at home, so I do think we should win it with our first team. I wouldn't risk it with the second team, but with the first team, we got a 1 0 win. Busy X course. 
transfer offer for our probably the best player, uh, Gabriel, but rejected. Another very winnable home game against Kievo Verona. Let's do it. Um, I think we should get a win. If no, I'm going to be very surprised. 2 1. Tramps for offer for Raffaele Di Gennaro, and I will bump it up to 3 million. 3.5. Ugh, 3.5 million. They only want to give me 3.2, but that's perfectly fine with me. Okay, guys, one more game that we'll play in this episode it's Atalanta. Now this thing that I've, I've been playing for a few games now is turning out to be a very good one. Gabriel up top, Brozovic, Perisic, Biziak, João Mario, Kondog, Bia, Fosumans is actually playing very good as a right back. Zuma, Murillo, uh, Hernandez at the back also, and Handa Nechin goal. On the bench we have tied there Jesus, Haze, uh, Santon, Dodo, Jovetic and Antonio Candreva. Let's go. On the ground maybe... João Mario! We are leading here against Atalanta with a very good cross from Biziak and a very good movement from João Mario and it's 1-0. One, one, one Oops, shit, shit, shit. What? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? That came from nowhere. Holy shit. I mean, it's a very good goal, I have to say. But that came from fucking nowhere. 1-1, one, one, it's drawing time, <laughs> it's a half time. That's, that sounded so not right. Anyways, 1-1 uh, one, one at half time, we need to win the game in the second half. João Mario, please. Yes! João Mario scores his second goal of the game and this could be the winner. There's still five minutes. But we're going to sit, sit deep and try to defend this. Here we go, guys. 2-1 at the end. We get a win. Okay, guys. We have Sampdoria in the Coppa Nazionale at home. I think we should get a fairly easy win. 2-0. We get a transfer for Theo Hernandez. I think we bought him for 19 million. So his value is now pretty high at 26.5. But still... He is one of my better players, I do enjoy playing with him, and I'll reject all offers. We got a transfer offer for Antonio Candreva from Lazio. I think he actually came to enter from Lazio, didn't he? Or it was... I think it was Lazio. Anyways, I am torn apart. You know what, I'm not going to sell him because I think we will need him in the team. Transfer offer for Juan Jesus. Um, I could let him go for 10 million. Transfer offer, the first one being for Gabriel, which is firmly rejected, and the other one being for Murillo, again rejected. They are two of my very important players. Okay, guys, and this wraps up our January transfer window. And I know I didn't make any signings, I think I sold two players, but I only have four points. 8, 9 million in the budget, so that, I mean, we could buy a few young players, but if I'm honest, I am not looking to extend my intercontract into the next year, because we only have two, two teams here, but anyways, because it looks like we're going to win the league, and if we also get, like, at least the semi-finals of the Champions League, I don't think I want to work with this team because it's a really good team I made the it's a very even better team with bringing some important players in the likes of Zuma and Biziak, Fosomensa, Hernandez and they're a very good squad I do want to go to a weaker side now I'll see how that goes but anyways let's proceed with this hour uh, Baptista oh, not sure who that is I went to Manchester United and we have some scouting updates now okay we have Verona I think we should be able again to win this one. We're getting quite a few easy games, and we do 4-1. Okay, and I think I'm going to end the episode right over here. We are having a 12-point lead in the Serie A. I think that is just 99% unbeatable. I don't think Napoli will catch us. Juventus, probably no, even because, I mean, they do have a better squad, but still they're too far behind. So I don't think we are in trouble in the league. Of course we have 
two knockout competitions. We are in the semi-finals of the Coppa d'Italia. Let's take a look if you already know who are we playing. We have a, a Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League. Um, and Inter uh, and Milan, not Inter Milan, AC Milan in the semi-finals of Coppa d'Italia. So very important games there in March. Uh, and of course also February. So yeah, this has been it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to do all the good stuff. And until the next time, peace.